Weezer video, this one here, we're in with our hunter. And of course he's in the tower because uh, Mercury was, um, nope, wrong way, the flashpoint. He's over by uh, dead orbit and that, up on his, uh, up his stairs on his little platform there. But of course where Mercury is the flashpoint planet this week, then he is in the tower. Mars is the flashpoint as well. Something just tells me that it's going to be the same. So he's right over here, right behind Dead Orbit. I'm going in with my Hunter because I only need the Ophidia, Ophidia Spathe, I think it's called, or something. The chest piece. So I'm going to use the Faded Ingram for that. Other than that, it's just ornaments that I need to get now. So this week, what has he brought? We have the Dragon Shadow chest armor for the uh, hunter. Get my tongue going here, it'll be alright. <clears throat> Which has the perk Wrath Metal Mail. Dodging reloads all weapons and increases both movement and weapon handling speeds for a brief moment. A brief time. We can have increased resilience, well, maxed resilience. For the cost of a third of that resilience, we can have some recovery. Comes with the Void Paragon mar uh, mod, adding 5 defense and class abilities recharge faster when using a void subclass. Do I have any ornaments? Yes, I do have an ornament. I have the Tiamat ornament. Let's see what it takes a look. There we go. Not too bad. Not much of a difference. A little bit of a difference. Yeah, it's not too bad. Then, for the Titan, we have the Peacekeepers leg armor. 23 legendary shards, <clears throat> which has reload stowed submachine guns and allows you to ready them instantly. So if you want to run two submachine guns, there you go. Empty one, you pull out the other. You empty that one, you pull out the other. Blah, 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 right? <laughs> Seems like a fun little uh, piece of gear. Increased mobility, or we can have, at the cost of mobility, we can have some recovery added to it. We have the self-repairing mod with adding 5 defense and increases the armor's recovery allowing you to recover health faster. For the Warlock, we have the Transversive Steps for 23 Legendary Shards. Which has, when sprinting, movement speed is increased and energy weapons are automatically reloaded. We have the Increased Mobility, or at the cost of mobility you can have a little resilience on there. It comes with the self-repairing mod, adding 5 defense, increases the armor's recovery, and allowing you to recover health faster. The weapon this week, we have the Huckleberry Submachine Gun for 29 Legendary Shards, which has the perk Ride the Bull, increased rate of fire and recoil while you're holding down the trigger, kills with this weapon, uh, reload a portion of the magazine. Fluted Barrel, an ultra light barrel, increased handling speed and increases stability. We have Ricochet Rounds, increases stability, slightly increases range, and rounds ricochet off hard surfaces. Also, have Rampage kills with this weapon temporarily grant increased damage and stacks up to three times. Short Action Stock, this weapon is especially easy to grip and increases handling speed. And if you look at the perks down here, the handling speed's almost maxed out, so that's not too bad. Of course, it comes with the kinetic mod, or the kinetic or exotic weapon upgrade mod. Uh, add five attack to it. You can catch those uh, catalysts from doing heroism in the most challenging adventures. And because I have it, the doubles work. That's what it looks like. And it's pretty cool. When you reload, you actually see this red barrel spin. It's pretty cool. Down here, you can pick up those challenge cards for the uh, Nightfall to adjust the score multiplier and power handicap, as well as those three of coins, which uh, give you a little better chance of receiving an exotic from doing anything in the world, whether it be uh, public events, uh, high-value targets, or... Uh, Strikes, doesn't matter. And of course you can pick up your Faded Ingram <coughs> for 97 Legendary Shards. And if I'm correct, it should be the Ophidia Spath, or Spath but let's find out. Do, 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 and 
There we go, the Ophidius Spath. Let's take a look at that. First off, there I am in all my new monarchy ornaments. Full gear. And here's the Ophidius Spath. Grants two knives per charge. Increased resilience. At the cost of resilience, I can have some health recovery, and I got it with the solar impact mod. Five defense and solar melee abilities recharge faster, and that stacks up to three times. And of course, the melee ability with the knives works good. So there you have it. That's what Zer has in Destiny 2. So now I guess it's off to Destiny 1, and let's find out what he has. Destiny 1, he is down here. There's Dead Orbit there. Future War Cult's up here. We go down here by the jukebox. And that's where we'll find him tucked away off in this little corner over here. Down the old Wu Tang clan here. Alright. Let's find out what he has in Destiny 1, shall we? <clears throat> so, Legacy and Graham is a primary weapon. weapon Weppy. <laughs> a weapon engram for 31 strange coin dropping one of those year one uh, legendaries that you might be trying to collect it drops up to a 160 I believe and it is not infusible for the Titan we have the glass house glass house or a helmet <laughs> if I could talk man it would be awesome I did good in like, the first half of the video bathed in light blessing of light and weapons of light last longer we have increased strength or increased intellect you can have ashes to assets gain bonus super energy on grenade kills or you can have heavy lifting which is gain bonus super energy from heavy weapon kills on minions of the darkness we also have infusion and plenishes health each time you pick up an orb of light so you pick up an orb you get a little super you get a little health you can stay in the fight you can start killing people more <clears throat> and that was for 13 strange coin for the hunter, we have the Don't Touch Me Gauntlets for 13 Strange Coin, which has defensive reflex. Taking damage from a melee attack makes you briefly invisible. So you get hit, you go invisible. And increase discipline, or you can have increased strength. Switchblade decreases melee attack cooldown time. And impact induction, or I should say impact induction, bonus grenade energy on melee hits. You can have the scout Reef rifle loader, or you can have the sniper rifle reloader. Man, if I could talk great, that'd be awesome. <laughs> My tongue just doesn't sound, seem to want to work in this next part of it. Transverse of Steps for the Warlock, which has the perk. Gain faster movement speed while crouching. Picking up ammo automatically reloads the weapon, matching that ammo's type. We also have uh, increased intellect, increased strength. Oh. Something that I want to go over with that is automatically reloads the weapon matching that weapon's type. So if you pick up uh, primary ammo, it'll reload your primary. If you pick up secondary ammo, it'll reload your secondary. That's what they mean by that. We have to carry more ammo for special weapons, or you can carry more ammo for those rocket launchers or heavy weapons. Arc Double Down increases agility for five seconds after an arc double kill. And for the weapon, we have the Zale Supercell, which has arc projectiles have a chance to chain lightning when enemies are close together. CQB ballistics greatly reduced recoil, significant penalty to range. Smart Drift Control, which is predictable and controllable recoil and a penalty to range. And we also have aggressive ballistic, more predictable recoil, enhanced impact, and shorter range and more recoil. We have the perk persistence. This weapon grows more accurate the longer it is fired. Plus, I have hammer forged. Uh, improved range and accuracy. We also have rifled barrel, increased range and slower reload. Look at that range, that's almost double. That's not bad. And then we have the stability braced frame. Increased stability, reduced magazine size. I could deal with a reduced magazine size for that much stability. And bolts from the blue, double kills with this weapon, charge a small amount of your super energy and return ammo to the magazine. So as long as you keep shooting, you'll gain your super fast, you'll keep reloading, and good luck. Have fun with it. We have not a toy ornament. 
makes you want to go hunting, get the real tree look. And we have Shock Hazard for the ornament. I think that's the one that I'm running right there. I like the whole arc and the barrel and everything. <clears throat> for the bundles, we have Bad Juju and Hoodum. I like Bad Juju myself. And we have Zale Supercell and Not a Toy, which you just saw. For 30 Strange Coin and 25 Silver Dust, each of them. You can pick up a Plasma Drive or an Emerald Coil, upgrading those rare sparrows to legendary and boosting the speed i think from 150 to 160 for 23 legendary or er, strange coins oh, legendary shards <laughs> you can pick up three heavy ammo synthesis for one strange coin or you can pick up 10 of them for three strange coin you can pick up five three of coins for seven strange coin which helps with the encounters or in destiny 2 they help over four hours this helps during one encounter and your next ultra you defeat or crucible match or you know, um, you know like the boss at the end of a strike or something as soon as you beat him you have a better chance at getting an exotic you can pick up those glass needles to re-roll those gear perks you can pick up three of them for three strange coin three motes of light and one exotic shard if you're missing those exotic shards you can pick them up down here one for seven strange coin or you can pick up those motes of light for two strange coin so there you have it that's what Zer has in both destiny 2 and in destiny 1 i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit that like button and we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching